All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I want to thank you guys for coming out and supporting us as well on the channel. Um, if you like the content, please like and subscribe as usual. Uh, as we promise, as hitting the milestone of 100 subscribers, uh, I promise that we're going to give you guys a knife sharpening um, class, right? So joining me today, we got um, Jason, um, one of the next um, affiliate of the channel and he's going to be teaching you guys how to sharpen your knife properly as you, you know everybody should know how to do this and yeah I appreciate you guys uh, much love and I'll let him take it away have a good one okay to celebrate 100 subscribers to our channel we're going to do a beginner's knife sharpening tutorial we're going to show you how to progress through the Weston between the different grits and we're going to show you the end product. If you like our content please hit like and uh, if you already like our content please hit subscribe. Alright ladies and gentlemen to start off our knife sharpening tutorial here are some of the basic tools you're going to need you need a stone holder either one that can sit on your table to ensure that your stone will stay nice and firm on the table without sliding around or something like this which will hold your stone and it can go right over your sink which means that it's be much easier for cleanup and here are the sharpening stones what we have here are ceramic sharpening stones going from lowest grit to highest grit, which is 300, 1000, 8000 grit, and 12000 grit. And here we have a leather straw for finishing off your sharpening. And a smartphone with an angle fi finder app on it, so you can find out exactly what angle of the um, my face you want to set it. Here we have a selection of ceramic stones. My personal per preference is for ceramic rather than wet stone simply because with ceramic stones I can wet them, use them, dry them and store them quite easily. While wet stones, once they, they are wet, they need to be kept in water otherwise once they dry out they do tend to crack. For, our first stone here is a 300 grit. This is your roughing and shaping stones. So if your knife profile is perfect fine, you would not usually use a 300 grit stone. This stone is for the purpose of uh, putting a, a defining a new edge, or if you have chips and things in your knife that you need to re quickly remove, this is what you use a 300 grit stone for. For actual sharpening, we will move on to the 1000 grit. For most ki kitchen use, a 1000 grit uh, sharpening is actually more than adequate for most kitchen use. The 8000 and 12000 grit stones are for polishing, and this is if this is for number one aesthetics because a nice polished mirror finish edge looks nice. Number two, if you are perhaps working with a fish butchery or cutting meat, a polished edge will mean a smoother transition between cuts. And here we have a leather strop with a green stropping compound already applied. What this does is it will allow you to uh, quickly realign the, the edge. So. The strop allows the microscopic teeth that is on, on the edge to be easily aligned and also it deburs the knife once it, once it has gone through the stone.
So what we want to do here is we want to sharpen on one side until a consistent burr has developed on the opposite side of the edge. So what the burr is, is a small amount of the metal that has rolled over after uh, most of the uh, during the sh uh, sharpening process and uh, we're going to feel the opposite side of the edge. If you do not feel a consistent burr or a feel almost like a small wire that is uh, biting around your finger, you need to work on that side a bit more until a consistent burr develops on one side. And then after that's done, we're going to start working on the, uh, the opposite side and do, try to achieve the same.
you can see a marked difference between the 300 and the 1000 grit. For most kitchen views, at this point, this blade simply need to go to be run over a leather strap for about five to 10 stroke per side. And the knife is actually good to go. But we're not gonna do that because we are OCD. So we want to polish, we want to be able to see our reflection clearly in that edge. Now we're going to finish polishing the, the edge of the blade on a 12,000 grit stone. By all accounts, the 12,000 grit is, I personally believe it's for aesthetic, aesthetic reasons. Because, by all accounts, it should, the blade has already been polished um, more than enough on the 8,000 grit. But 12,000, hey, why not? Right? There's no such thing as too much polishing. So, let's get to it.
direction right now, this is using another stone, simply to clean off the stone because we have all these black spots here, black spots there. These are just the uh, metal shaving that has been embedded themselves into the stone, and which means that the stone will not work as, as efficiently. So we're just cleaning the, them off. At this stage of sharpening, we're not trying to apply a lot of pressure because our edge alignment and profile has already been set. What we're doing is to polish the edge and to get rid of as much of the fur on the blade as possible. If you don't get all of them, that's fine because our last step, we will show you what we do to get rid of the last of the fur and make this knife wicked sharp. What I'm going to do now is called stropping, which I'm going to, do, going to run the edge of the blade on this leather strop with a, a stropping compound already applied. I'm going to do gently on uh, 10, 5 to 10 strokes each side. What I'm doing here is the same thing if you, you see old time movies when people are do, uh, the barbers when they're shaving, they would run their straight razor on that piece of leather. It's the same idea because leather is firm enough to actually align the, the microscopic teeth on the knife edge, but it is not so firm that um, the leather will change or alter the blade geometry that you already set with your whetstone. And also stropping also removes any burr that ha is still present on your blade. Let's get to it. Gently, don't need to apply a lot of pressure. Simply run the blade from tip to heel, five to 10 strokes each side. All right, so we're testing out the finished product and let's do it.
My 300 grit, 8,000 grit, and 12,000 grit stones are made by Shapton, while the 1,000 grit stone is produced by Nanoa.